My job in these missions is to define the science. What are we going there to do? I talk with people who build the instruments and build the spacecraft, because they're the ones that actually build the hardware. And we explain, well, here's what we want to know, here's what we have to find out, and then they build the hardware. And sometimes I'm involved in taking that hardware out to the field on Earth and testing it and saying, well, suppose that the spacecraft landed here in the dry valleys of Antarctica. Would it give us the information we need? We've been working on Phoenix for five years now. It's been a long road and it's really exciting and gratifying to see it land successfully on Mars. What we're pretty sure it's going to do is it's going to reach ice. Uh, in fact, the data already looks like we've seen the ice below the spacecraft. So that's goal one, is reach ice. It'll be the first mission to Mars that actually reaches the water and grabs it. Now my own personal hope is that Phoenix will find in that ice organic material. If we think about it, we realize that everything we know about life, about medicine, about drugs, about pest control, about agriculture, is all based on studying one fundamental type of life, the life we have here on Earth one type of DNA, one genetic alphabet, one type of assembling proteins from amino acids. We have one book of life. There may be a whole range of questions that we can't answer as long as we only have one type of life. And that if on Mars we find another type of life, we may learn deep and profound things about biology that we wouldn't know otherwise.